Hey, my Daniel Dolls. So today we are going to be doing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer and New Androgyny Eyeshadow Palette Review and Swatch Video. I'm so excited. Before we jump into swatches, like before, we will go over some quick facts and other information. For those of you that don't care so much about these sort of things, I will, as always, include a timestamp down below so you can skip ahead to where the swatches begin. Now for the facts. We're going to start with the common facts for both of the palettes first. Both eyeshadow palettes retail for $45 on Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Beautylish.com. Both palettes contain 25.2 total grams of product and broken down that is 2.52 grams per eyeshadow pan, which is extremely generous. I know from the Beauty Killer release, there were a lot of skeptics that were concerned that the large pans in the palette were some sort of marketing scam, and that the eyeshadows, though they appeared large, were actually just really shallow pans. However, Beauty News which is another YouTube channel that did a really great video. They call it the Makeup Breakup, where they took apart and broke up the Beauty Killer palette and laid the product so you could see what you were getting. I will be sure to link that down below for you guys if you want to check it out for yourself. They have a really great channel, so I highly recommend. I'm happy to report that what you see is really what you get. You are getting the amount of product that it claims that you are. And it's not a scam. All Jeffree Star Cosmetics are vegan and cruelty free. They're Leafy Bunny approved, which is awesome. Both palettes have good solid mirrors and cardboard packaging which allows you to completely flip back the mirror, which is a pro for all beauty gurus and other YouTubers that like to review products and don't want to blind your viewers with the mirrors. I know I personally like that. It's flexible packaging. The last but not least common fact is that these eyeshadows do indeed contain help. I personally don't mind that, but you might. Beauty Killer Facts The Beauty Killer palette contains 10 eyeshadows, 3 frost, 3 shimmer or metallic shades, and 4 matte shades. It has a good mix of transition shades, highlight shades, as well as a few bright pops of color, like a hot neon pink or a bright blue. Black Rainbow, which is the darkest shade in both palettes actually, performs best with some glitter glue, and the palette has really good pigmentation. Almost too good, especially with the pink. About to get into that later. And now for the new Androgyny eyeshadow palette, which was just released on March 4th, I believe. I know myself and many others have been anxiously awaiting and drooling over the palette since the sneak peeks that Jeffrey was releasing way back in January of this year. The Androgyny palette also contains 10 eyeshadow pans, four of which are metallic in six shades that are super matte. Not matte, super matte. You know Jeffrey, he's always extra. I read somewhere that for this palette in particular that the overall 
formula was improved for better quality performance and pigmentation of the shadows. The shades in this palette are what Jeffrey considers his idea of a neutral palette, which I find kind of funny, but I absolutely love it. They all perform really well on a brush, and the overall color scheme is much more warm tone and earthy than the Beauty Killer palette, which I personally like a lot. Just saying. If you have any further questions, just drop them down in the comments, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. But for the sake of not rambling on forever and getting to the swatches, I'm gonna leave it at that. For now. Now let's get into what you've all been waiting for. And to the fun stuff. From left to right, we have Star Power, Princess, Violence, and Rich Bitch. Next, we have Courtney, Expensive, Confession, and Vanity. And our final two colors are China White and Black Rainbow. Moving on to the Androgyny palette, we have Frosting, Safe Word, Charm, and Deja Vu. Next, we have Dominatrix, Androgyny, Fetish, and Military. And our, our final two shades are Poison and Swallow. Alright guys, overall I think the quality of both of these palettes is damn good. I can't lie, I didn't get as much use as I would have liked to from the first palette, which is the Beauty Killer. Not because the quality or performance is less than the Androsnia palette by any means at all. It's mostly just about personal perspective and if I had to choose or recommend one of the two palettes to you, I think we all know it would be the Androgyny palette. The color selection just inspires me to create loud and different looks. I find it to be much more cohesive overall and all of the colors just work really well together, which I wouldn't have guessed at first glance. They blend well and are highly pigmented. The formula really is improved, in my opinion. If I had to give you guys a couple cons, which I always try to do, with the Beauty Killer palette, it would be that some of the brighter neon pigments, like Star Power and Expensive, I believe, they do stain the skin if not used with a really good eye primer. And for the Androgyny palette, the only con I can really think of so far is that the two blue shades, Poison and Swallow, I think it would be cute if you put them in the opposite order, Swallow Poison. That's not my con though. The blue shadows in the palette, they don't swatch very well, and they're a little bit patchy. But they are buildable, and I honestly don't mind too much that I have to finesse a little bit extra because the colors are so damn pretty once they're applied and blended. That's all I have for you guys for this review. It was a little bit lengthy, so I apologize, but I wanted to make it good for you. Like down below if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell if you want to see more of this space. I know YouTube has been playing some games and you don't always get notified of my uploads unless you hit that little bell. I love you guys so so much and don't just be a doll, be a kind of doll. I hope you're all having a good day or night wherever you are. And until my next video, stay well until then. Alright, dino out.
we have closet. Don't forget to subscribe and really bam bam. One sec. Um, wait, stop.